what's up guys uh, we're gonna have a look real quick at this uh, new series 8 Necker Predator jungle predator uh, man this figure is really awesome the paint job is incredible I think um, some cool little features because I played around with a couple of my other predators and stuff like that so a couple things you can do also to this thing I'm gonna show you um, they did give us a little bit of the added articulation but only from like really the hips down they gave us the ball jointed hips and the double jointed knees but they kept the torso just that straight flat slit so all it does is rotate like that as opposed to how like the some of the newer ones do and they got that ball joint or whatever under there I kinda wish they would have put that on there so I could have put it in maybe like a little bit more dynamic poses but the added stuff on the hips and the knees kinda I guess make up for that and they can you can still get them in some really really decent poses as you can see from the shots before the video alright real quick we'll just take a closer look at the paint apps and stuff like that uh, the metal came out really nice too it's not as like flat as the other ones I'm gonna bring the other one in here in a second it's got more of like a shine to it looks more like actual metal I don't know if my camera's picking it up but the skins really like glossy and wet looking and shines really well not so much that you get a crazy glare or anything but and also this has changed instead of just like the sculpt of the uh, like little loincloth thing it's actually like soft plastic that way it doesn't get in the way of the articulation either since it's so soft like you can cr you can crouch down really far and stuff pretty much the same sculpt hand open hand closed hand the knives go in and out all that good stuff uh... this is actually the first plasma cannon that I've had seen that actually holds on there there's a super loose helmet looks really nice got some little red painted details up there on his sight <coughs> and I'll show you what I mean about that loincloth area like on this one it's just it's sculpted on there as you can see like the paints way different this guy's a little bit lighter and everything's flatter on this like the metal it's almost just like a like the like a plastic rubber color it almost looks like it doesn't really look like it's at like metal at all or anything as opposed to this I think looks more realistic I mean I guess as realistic as realistic as you can get <coughs> um let's see basically you guys know the articulation on these things already double jointed knees if you have predators and the new hips which allow it to go completely out and back and all that good stuff same shoulder with the swivel and hinge joint and then the swivel and the hinge at the elbows there as well a uh, cool little thing though that I do like about this is a lot of these predators like these two for uh, these two the heads come off really easy like they just slide off of there and the head on the paint on this head actually matches decent enough to be put on this one if you like oops dropped his necklace if you really really wanted to do that because as it gets up here it actually fades a little bit and gets to like a lighter color that matches oh, drop the necklace again that actually matches the head color of this one pretty well let me slide this head on there real quick see it doesn't look it doesn't look that bad you could get away with throwing this on there for a pick or something like that I mean I wouldn't like leave it displayed like that or anything but if you just wanted like a darker color scheme than this with the unmasked head or something you could go ahead and just slide it on there and I mean this one this one will go on here too as well so it but works both ways of course well, hold on this one's a little hard to get on 
See what I mean? These things do not attach well. Every other one, every other predator I have, these things just fall right off, except for this new one here. There you go. So I mean, just a little something if you wanted to, just for shits and grins or for pictures or a certain display or whatever, you could swap those heads back and forth if you want. I'll give you a little comparison next to Dutch here. I know I did it in my Dutch review, but there you go. The height comparison is really well. I know, yeah, this is not the way the factory release looks. Anyone that hasn't seen them or anything, I highly doubt you haven't. But if you haven't, this isn't the way it looks. I modded this one up a little bit to be a little bit more movie accurate. I'm going to give you guys a look at that this weekend in uh, Custom Corner. Yes, yes, there is a new episode of Custom Corner. Holy shit, right? <laughs> See, I don't know, I, th I think the head can pass off if you want to take some pictures or something like that. Maybe in the right lighting, if you guys don't think it matches, maybe in the right lighting it won't really, you won't be able to tell so well. But, uh, alright, cool, well I'm going to get out of here, and like I said, I'll give you a closer look at this Dutch on Custom Corner. Really simple, simple stuff that all you guys can go ahead and just do yourself if you wanted a little bit more movie accurate and I'll compare it to the way the uh, factory one looks as well I'm also working on customs of trying to get the whole team done and stuff really really liking the paint job on this predator figure tons of like shading and stuff in the loincloth and all that and like I said the skin is just so shiny it's just it looks really really like I don't know, like wet and stuff. It's really, really nice. But, alright, cool. Well, I'm going to get out of here and uh, stay tuned this weekend. Uh, maybe tomorrow or Sunday at the latest. I'll get an episode in for you guys. Alright, guys. Take it easy.